So after the Vegas incident, y'all went back to L.A. and should call the meeting. And um, if I'm not mistaken, you called out Snoop in that meeting, right? Yeah, so we, we, we went, when we went back to L.A., you know, um, Shug called a meet with everybody on death row. Um, he had a lot. He always was calling meetings, but I think this might have been the first time that I seen every single artist, producer, anybody that was affiliated with death row was there. And um, for, some strange, for some strange reason, you know, after everybody talked, Shug looked at me and he was like, and now Moo got to say something. And the first thing I said, Snoop, you know, it, it's kind of messed up that now and everybody, you know, showing Pac love, but, you know, Pac was hurt, you know, what, what happened, you know, what happened in New York, Snoop and this and this and that. And, um, and Snoop replied, you know, he was like, you know, I'm like Martin Luther King, Pac was more like Malcolm X, and I'm more, you know, diplomatic, Pac was more like, you know what I mean, the warrior, stuff like that. And I remember after... You know, Shug came up to me, he's like, you did good, but you're never supposed to let people know how you feel. <laughs> but of course, at a, a, a time like that, Pac just died. We emotional. You know what I mean? And everybody talking. So it was one of them things that I, I sometimes wonder, like, did Shug try to, because he knew how, you know, some of the things that, you know, was said about Snoop, that Pac felt about him. And out of all the outlaws, he knew that I'm the one that's not going to be afraid to say it in front of Snoop. So he probably played on that and wanted to, <laughs> wanted to Snoop to hear it, you know what I mean? What is some of the other stuff that happened in that meeting outside of that? You know, a bunch of people, you know, talked about, um, I really don't recall because we were so zoned out. And we were so zoned out where I'm like, who the, why are we having a meeting? Pot died and we having a meeting? Like I was, I thought that was the weirdest stuff ever. You know what I mean? Like Pac is, he just died and what the hell are we in a meeting for? Like what's that gonna do? You know what I mean? So, we I was zoned out. I just we were just ready to get out of the meeting, and um, we was recording though. I think one of the ways that we was able to deal with what we were, was dealing with because Shug just gave us free reign to just do how many songs we want. He's like, y'all want to go in the studio, just do whatever y'all want. So every day instead of just sitting back morning and drinking, um, sitting at home, we would go to the studio and just write, and do songs. You know what I mean? Right. So um, after Tupac got killed in Vegas. Yeah, I went back to L.A. And um, me reading your book, you said that um, it was a whole lot of shootings and retaliation going on in L.A. after Tupac got killed. In Compton. <clears throat> you know, after Pac got killed, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it probably was a, a, if, a, a, at least 10 people that got shot. If I'm not mistaken, wow. 7 to 10 people got shot, a few people died. Um, I think the, you know, the police had to, um, they just had to do like a gang sweep where they just start raiding everybody homes in Compton and that's what stopped it kicking everybody doors and locking people up taking guns off the street but it was a little war between the people in Compton you know from Suge Hood and um, the Southside Crips and the Ma Paru and, and other gangs it was just a little it was a war that was going on you know and I remember for example it, it, it was I remember Nutso you know Keisha Cole brother the homie Nutso I remember he drove down in Oakland with three, four dudes, and they all had AK-47s in the trunk, heading to Compton to drop them off. So it, it was real. And then next wow. thing you know, the, you know, it, it was crazy. And you said that um, the Bloods paid like a $10,000 bounty on the Southside Crips? You know, people say that. I, I don't... Um, I don't recall that it was a bounty. To, you know, the Ma Paru, like, Suge and them hood, they just, you know... And it's known, it's, it's known that Suge Hood and other Bloods in Compton, they just wanted, you know, retribution for Pac. So it was known that it was shootings between Ma Paru, Southside Crips. That was known. I don't think nobody was waiting for to get no money paid. I think they were just, you know what I mean? It just went to a full-fledged war, and the police really had to come in hard, just kick, start kicking all gang affiliate doors down, anybody that had some cases, and just... Round them up. And that's what stopped the killing. The incident where Fatal got in the incident in New Jersey after Tupac passed away. Give me the back story behind that. So some dudes jumped Fatal. You know what I mean? 10, 15 dudes jumped him. He got to, he got into a fight. The dude jumped him. And, um, you know, Gaddafi and Fatal, they grew up with each other. They from the same hood, from the same neighborhood, and from the same block. So I'm sitting in my grandmother's house, and Gaddafi come. He pulled up with two homegirls from his neighborhood. You know, they driving. He came to my grandmother's house. And he's like, come with me. So I come in the car, and he was like, um, 
you strapped? I'm like, no, I don't have nothing. He's like, I need you to come with me. I said, where you going? He's like, you know, the dudes that jump uh, fatal, I know where they at, and I'm going to go handle that. So I said, come on, let's go. So we went. It's in Newark somewhere, you know what I mean? He jumped out. The girls parked the car. We jumped out. I got out with him. Um, a bunch of dudes standing on the block, and Gaddafi just started letting off. Doom, 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 doom. And, I, and then walk because he's smooth, calm dude. Like, you know how Gaddafi is. Never did it and just walked back to the car like it's normal, and we took off, you know what I mean? But that he did that because of the love he had for Fatal. He didn't even tell Fatal he was doing it. He just, you know, and also after the death of Pac, Gaddafi, and you know, you got to remember, Pac just had died a month ago before that. So everybody's state of mind was different. You know what I mean? And Gaddafi, out of all of the outlaws, out of all of us, he was the one that was affected the, mer the most. So, you know, it, you know, back then, it, it comes with the territory. 